Hi, all the signs of the zodiac. I'm Pam, and welcome to your psychic crystal reading for the full moon in Aries, October 1st and 2nd, 2020. As always, I'm going to look into my crystal and give you psychic predictions and messages from my spirit guides as to what energies you can expect to experience from this Aries full moon for each of the four elements, earth, water, fire, and air. The earth signs are Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. The water signs are Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. The fire signs are Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. And the air signs are Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. If you hear this motorboat buzzsaw sound next to me quite loudly, it is my dog Max sleeping in the sun. So I'm sorry you're going to hear that throughout the whole reading. So impassioned proclamations will be likely for many from this Aries full moon energy. We must release our pent up emotional energy and express ourselves. Keeping things inside won't do now and over the course of the next few weeks, but we must remember to be careful because these feelings may be new and come across as irrational. So all that being said, now I'm going to look into the element of earth. This will be Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. It may not feel like a bump, uh, like a smooth ride for you. It's going to feel like a bumpy ride for you, earth signs, for some of you. And some of you may be really inspired where you're going to feel like you want to shake things up and do things differently. Now, this could be maybe you want to change your hairstyle your look, your clothes, or shake things up in other ways, but wanting to change things and shake things up. Some of you are not going to be very trusting with people coming to you with information over the next two weeks to 30 days. This full moon in Aries is going to make you feel a little bit like you're, you're not getting uh, the straight story or you're not getting clear information. You're going to be... Some of you earth, uh, earth signs are going to feel like you're treading uh, like tiptoes very gingerly, like walking on eggshells. I get this like um, trepidation, uh, apprehension, careful energy. Some of you are going to feel like an overabundance of joy or happiness coming to you from a family member. So this could be grandchildren your own children, could be other people in your family, but really feeling joy or happiness coming to you in relation to dealing with family or family members. Some of you are going to be getting something going in your life, like revving something up, something that needs to be going. If you do any kind of work on machinery like cars or it could literally be machinery, but it could also be figuratively, like maybe you want to get going on a diet or get going on an exercise program or get going on a new health regime or get going on like some new creative project. Some of you earth signs may actually change some people in a position of power. So if you are somebody that is a boss or a supervisor, a manager, a business owner, and you have the authority to change people's positions or jobs. I feel some of you from the energy of this Aries uh, full moon are going to be making like changes in regard to people of authority or people in power. Some of you earth signs need to be careful because you're going to be confronted with or dealing with people that are very stubborn and controlling. And, you know, some of you earth signs can be stubborn and controlling also. So you could really lock horns with some people. So just be on the lookout because there could be battles of wills while this, you know, opposing stubborn battles of wills could be going on with the full moon in Aries. Your guesswork is not right. Go back and check facts again, because if you do anything where you're like guessing at answers and tests or like, oh, well, I, I, I'm pretty sure I'm right about that. That would be something you need to be cautious of and not do. 
you need to like fact check or go back and look at information, recheck, double check information and facts. Some of you earth signs really need to complete things. So it's best not to rush. You need time. You need more time. Don't rush to complete things. So I hope those messages were of help to you. Now on to the element of water. This is Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. Some of you water signs are going to be very like almost angry or adamant that you want things done and you want things done right now. You're going to feel very strong about that. Some of you water signs are going to feel like you want to bottle up your emotions and shove them aside or put them away. Some emotions you're, you're experiencing, I feel you really don't want to be dealing with. Some of you are going to be very retrospective, some of you water signs, and be really mulling it over and thinking about your actions in recent months, uh, maybe even further back than that, but like, and how your reactions to things or actions you've taken are affecting other people. You may have only been thinking about how they've been affecting you, but this full moon in Aries is going to make you think about how your actions or inactions have affected others around you. Some of you are going to feel like you're tired of talking to the same old people and have a real uh, drive or interest in getting new friends, new associates, maybe even a new job if you're just tired of your job. But it comes up like tired of dealing with and talking to the same people comes up for some of you water signs. Some of you are going to break some kind of habit, some kind of habit that you've had or some pattern of behavior that's not necessarily good for you that you've done over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. You're going to break some pattern or habit. Some of you water signs are going to release something out into the world or out to the public that's going to get really good response, uh, really good reviews, good feedback, good response, good reviews. Your tolerance level for some of you water signs is actually going to be really good for taking on new tasks, new projects, and new plans. So if you're normally someone that likes to keep things status quo in the way they uh, normally are, it's going to switch a little bit here and you'll be real willing to uh, and more tolerant of taking on new work, new projects, plans, ideas. Some of you water signs need to be a little bit more thrifty with your money. You may have a tendency while in the energies of the full moon in Aries, which can last for two weeks to up to 30 days, to want to spend more. You might be like, you know, you've got to be more careful with spending during that time frame. Some of you water signs are eating too many sweets. You got to be careful. Too much sugar is not good for your liver. It's not good for your pancreas. It's also not good for your blood. So um, it's not good for your weight. So some of you need to really watch it because for some reason it could be nervous energy. I don't know. It could be like eating for therapy. Like, you know, what do they call that? Emotional eating. You have to be careful of that, especially overeating sweets. Don't overestimate people. I do feel you need more time to complete projects and plans. And that came up also for the earth signs. You're getting it too. But you have to be careful of overestimating people because you may be overestimating their tolerance of things not being done or overestimating their good nature, their good humor, or their intelligence. So be careful of overestimation of others while you're in the energy of this full moon in Aries from on October first and second. But like I said, the energies of this can last for two weeks or up to 30 days. So I hope those messages were of help to you.
on to the element of fire. This is Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Some of you fire signs are going to really feel like ants in the pants. Like you're going to want to jump out of your skin. Like I want to get up and go. I want to do this and that. Like very uh, charged up energy. I hear that some of you fire signs are going to think or feel that you have to be practical about certain things. However, there's part of your psyche or your being that is going to want to fight against that. So it's kind of funny. Like you're going to know you need to be practical, but you're going to be fighting against that. Someone will be dodging answers to your questions. So you may have questions for someone. It could be an employee, a family member, a loved one. I don't know who it's going to be because it is a general reading, but I get like, you're going to have questions for someone and they're going to be dodging them for some reason. Some of you are going to have a fire lit under your butt and you're going to feel like you have to do everything in a, hur in a hurry, which is kind of a repeated message, but there's, this is what they're saying again. So some of you fire signs are going to feel like, uh, I feel like maybe I should phrase it differently for you. It's like for some of you, you're going to feel the pressure of time and like you have to hurry up and finish and complete certain things in your life. And you know, you might be right. These things maybe need to be finished and completed, but it's the feeling of anxiety and pressure of having to hurry up and complete them. If you've had any stomach troubles or issues with your stomach, this full moon in Aries is likely to make them dissipate and go away over the course of the next two weeks to 30 days. If you're trying to get any approval of for a loan or a mortgage or something involving money, uh, you're going to get that in approval. Some of you will be linking up with someone new. It could be a new love relationship. It could be a new business partnership or a new friend. There's a dog here in the crystal. It looks black. It could have a little bit of white. So some of you uh, fire signs have a deceased dog that maybe recently passed or passed a while ago that is showing up in the crystal. And I recommend you look up animal totem dog because you're getting a message here from dog. Biding your time and waiting is going to be the best course of action for you. But I feel that some of you, as I said, the ants in the pants feeling, you may kind of ignore that or feel like you just can't wait. So biding your time would be wise with certain activities or things you want to press forward on. Uh, but I don't know that you'll be able to contain it because some of you, your energy is off the hook from this full moon in Aries. This full moon in Aries is going to make some of you fire signs ask too much of people. Your expectations may be incredibly high and you may be asking people in your life too much and you and I don't feel like you're going to feel like that you are doing that but they are going to feel like you're doing that some of you fire signs uh, the caution for you is needless worry I feel that some of you are going to be doing wasting a lot of time effort and energy on needless worry so try not to trouble trouble as the saying goes try not to worry so much so I hope those messages were of help to you. Now on to the element of air. This is Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. The air signs I feel are going to need to pace yourself because it's almost like you're going to be getting ahead of yourself in some way. Some of you air signs may be going out of your way to try to do nice things and be helpful for, uh, to other people. It could backfire. So I'm not saying don't be helpful, but help. If you put too much effort out there, you could be really mad. So helping within reason, helping within reason is a good way to look at it because you could have somebody that gets mad or is not appreciative of what you're doing. I feel that some of you air signs are going to be angry. I see you stomping your feet and, and having some kind of anger or rage. 
some of you air signs may feel like you're tired of being picked on or like you get you're like the scapegoat or you get bullied or you get picked on too much. Some of you air signs could have new romance possibilities show up. And if you're already coupled, romance could just be heightened with you and your partner. Some of you are going to be calling an old friend, could be a love, but it really feels like a friend whom you haven't spoken with for a long time. I feel like you're making the contact to them, but it's like a good reconnection for you. This energy lasts for the next two weeks to up to 30 days. Some of you air signs are going to start to understand something so much better than what you have before. And especially if you're doing any kind of research, studying, or learning. Some of you air signs are going to be kind of putting too much pressure on yourself from the energies of this full moon in Aries. Some of you air signs may feel like there's certain information or secrets or private information that you don't want to come out, but it may come out. Some of it may come out in the month, uh, well, in the next month, you know, over the course of the next two weeks to 30 days. Some of you need to be cautious of, uh, I don't know how you could combat it, uh, but I just get too much vacillation of things back and forth, back and forth, like wishy-washiness, vacillating back and forth between something. And I don't know, my, this is a thing my guides are cautioning you. So I guess they're trying to just let you know. I don't know if you can stop doing it, but if you maybe you can if you catch yourself doing it. So maybe you need to be a little more decisive or wait to make a decision because I get too much vacillation back and forth. If you get into any competition with anyone over something, air signs while this full moon in Aries energy is flowing around, um, I feel like you're likely to win. You're, if you have to be in a contest or you're pitted against another business or another you know, person, I feel like in, in a competition situation, the air signs are going to win. So I hope these messages were of help to all the signs of the Zodiac out there. And that I hope they were of some help and I hope they made sense. Sorry, I repeated that. I want to thank you so very much for watching my videos. I truly appreciate it. And please like, share and subscribe and hit that notification bell when you do subscribe. That way you'll get notified when I upload my videos to YouTube. I have had a few people tell me they had been subscribed and got unsubscribed and I did not unsubscribe anybody. So I don't know what's going on there. You might want to check if you are subscribed and you're not getting notified, you might want to check. Maybe you are un got unsubscribed somehow. Now, I always talk about the videos that I record every month beyond the ones I put here on this channel. Uh, and you can find those on my Vimeo on demand pages. And those links of the most recent videos I record, I always post below each video. So I usually post a few series links below and all my video series are all, the links are all on my website at www.theluckymermaid.com. Go to the videos tab on my menu. And there you can see on the videos page, all the different video series I've recorded, what topics I focused on, what divination tools I used and how long the predictions are for. You click on the sign you want under the videos you're interested in and it will take you to that video on Vimeo. So some of the most recent video series I've recorded, the most recent one is my October 2020 psychic crystal reading for each sign of the zodiac. So if you want to get specific predictions for your sign, more specific than what I'm giving here by looking into the elements, you can click on that link and see what came up for your sign. Those readings are an extension and expansion of the psychic tarot readings that I do at the beginning of each month that I post here. The next most recent video series I've recorded is the Mars Retrograde 
psychic crystal reading for each sign of the zodiac. And those predictions go from 9-9, so from September 9th, until January 2nd, 2021. Now, that Mars retrograde period, it goes direct on November 14th, so you're probably going to feel relief at that point, but we still are in the shadow of Mars retrograde until January 2nd, so those predictions will last from the 9th of September 2020 until January 2nd, 2021. The next most recent video series I've recorded, that link is posted below, is the past, present, and future psychic tarot readings using the Osha Zen tarot deck. And those predictions go out one year in time, and I recorded them and posted them originally in May. So you still have many, many months that those predictions are going to make sense. And one that I haven't talked about for a while, but the predictions are not over yet, is the career and finance, psychic tarot, and crystal readings for a 12 to 18 month time period, which went from May of 20. 20 until November of 2021. So still a lot of time left on those predictions. If you would like to help support my channel and make a donation to help support the work that I do here, you can find that link, which is connected to PayPal down below under all the video series links I have posted below. And a big thank you to all of you who have been very kind and generous to help support my channel. I truly appreciate it. So thank you, thank you so much for that. I do appreciate it. If you would like to get more psychic predictions and messages channeled through me from my spirit guides channeled through me, you can follow me on my social media pages, The Lucky Mermaid LLC on Facebook, The Psychic Pastry Chef LLC also on Facebook, and the lucky mermaid underscore Pam Georgell on Instagram. I use a variety of divination tools, my crystal, oracle cards, tarot cards, all kinds of cards. And I'll give you psychic predictions and messages that my spirit guides are giving me. I channel them. Mostly I write them down once in a while. I put them in video, but I usually write them down. And many people find they resonate with them. And you may find that they resonate with you as well. And I'd love to see you over on my social media pages. So I hope you all have a absolutely amazing energy that comes to you from this dynamic full moon in Aries, October 1st and 2nd, 2020. And it is the, it is the first of two full moons that we're going to have this month. And know that I wish you many blessings and peace.